Welcome to Muddy Mongers channel, a beginner's guide to mountain biking. Uh, if you like the channel, why not subscribe, give it a like. Last time I was here, I, obviously I've been here a lot, uh, Brayfoot, that's where I am. Um, I've been coming here for about nine months now, since I've taken up mountain biking. And this is the very top of the hill. And it's M1 line down there, takes you down to Rooty Tooty Bang Bang, G-Bomb, all these routes I've done lots of times. And there's this old First World War defence building here. And in all that time, I've never, I've walked around this area, but last time I was here, there's a couple of other mountain bikers here, and uh, they went off around the corner. I said, like, where are they up to? Uh, and then I had a look, and there's a quite a technical wee descent bit that they did. But they're very good riders, but I'm going to have a look at that today. Come with me. Let's go and have a look. Around this edge, there is a big cliff at the side here. You be careful. As you can see, there's a cliff down there. But this be sort of technical drop area here. These went down, so I might have a look at doing that today. And that takes you around the corner, and you can go down to. Loney's Wedge or wherever you want to go. Just be careful not to fall off that because you did that. I think there is a bit of wire there to stop that from happening. Or it could just be a small twig. I don't know. I'll check out before I risk it. So <laughs> nah, it's just a normal wire. <laughs> I don't know, it's pretty flimsy. I don't know if it would uh, stop you really. Can you just slide under that? But yeah. Rocky step downs. Quite rooty and rocky down here. But yeah, I think I can do this. I'm just gonna walk. Oh, it was a bit slippy though. A bit further down. Good look. Almost there. Some roots could really catch you out. And then a bit of a drop there. Just try to see the best angle to be to. Hmm. Probably come around there and then cut down this way, I think. And then around there. That's that defence building I was telling you about, the other side. So I'm going to give this wee uh, technical descent a shot now. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do it safely. Uh, I'm hoping that my experiences at the Golfe and Glentress and Benarty will help me do this kind of thing. This is the sort of thing I actually really enjoy doing, although I find it very difficult and a bit scary. but. I think I can do this. Let's find out. Right. Let's have a shot. If I should go that way, I'll go this way. Uh, I think straight is probably the best one. I'll try to do it again, the whole thing. One thing I have learned from doing the golfe and Glen Trace and things like that is when you come down stuff like this, don't put on your front brake. If you put on your front brake, that's when it will just stop. And you, if you hit any wee obstacle, your, your weights of your, your body on your bike 
a bit of momentum, it's any kind of obstacle, it just makes the wheel suddenly turn and then you just come off. I've learned that lesson the hard way. So that's a little tip for any beginners who are thinking about trying to do some descent. Be very careful about using your front brake. Sometimes you've got to, but be very, very light. As I say, modulate it, feather it. Let's have another shot of this. Quite good. It is pretty tricky. It's quite slippy, the rocks there, and the roots are pretty slick because it's been so wet here. Basically, August has been a washout. Just had rain after rain after rain, and it was raining really heavy last night, so everyone's very slick. But taking it calm, not leaning too far back there, it's starting to go in. I'm starting to learn lessons at last. <laughs> well, I spoke too soon. It had happened, I suppose, a crash. That's what happens when you don't steer in the right direction and you put on your front brake. Yes, that was a lot better that time. This one yet. No dabs at all. Well, I think it illustrated perfectly what I was saying about not touching your front brake. Because on that one of those descents there, I was going offline, and rather than just letting off all the brakes, pushing forward to leap off, maybe we'd still crash, I don't know, because it's quite a deep dip. Instead, I subconsciously just grabbed a whole bunch of front brake and that just flipped me over the bars so it's a valuable lesson it wasn't hurt so it's all good let's just have a look at when I crashed again I come in at a reasonable speed, quite slow but my elbows are bent, my body's forward I'm in a good position when I turn my centre of gravity is right over the centre of the bike so it's pretty good I could be a bit lower on the bike but as I move forward this is where things start to go wrong I start to lean back too much. You can see I've really started to lean back. My arms have gone really outstretched and so basically I can't steer. My arms have almost locked out and so I basically just go straight forward and grab a whole lot of front brake over the big drop and crash. Luckily it was a soft landing. But well, that's been good fun. I love doing little technical things like that. Uh, I really feel you'll learn a lot from it. What I was trying to learn there was A. To be relaxed, not grabbing brake, looking for the right line, and also judging my speed. Because it's easy to get a bit gung ho, go too fast with these things. Some guys are able to tank down these things really quickly because they've got such skill. I don't have that. So I need to just build up that skill level first, and then obviously, once you get that level of skill and confidence, then you can work on getting faster. So, let's move on. So I've done that tricky descent at the back of that defence building today. So I thought I'd come back and try to do 
for this tricky descent again. This is the one where I smashed my gear lever off in the past. Oh, <laughs> oh no, my brakes come off. Oh no, it's broken. Oh bollocks. Totally broken my brake, my gear. Aster. Smashed my gears off the, the handlebar. Annoying. And didn't go down it twice after that. It looked like a right arse. <laughs> I'm chickened out of it and chickened out of it many times. But I think I'll give it another shot today. Because uh, I haven't tried it since then, since I smashed my gear lever off. It's kind of like, oh. But I'm going to give it a shot. Hopefully nothing will get broken, including my bones. Wish me luck. So I'm just trying to get clear in my head where's the best place to roll in from and what's the best line to take to get down safely. Well, not perfect, but I've done it. Well, I did it. Not perfect. Kind of didn't really come round, round the way I wanted to, but uh, came down and didn't crash. Successful. I think I'll give it one more shot. I don't want to take the bait, but I'd like to do it the way I want to do it. Although it's short, as you can see, it is a pretty steep descent. Well, <laughs> that's what happened last time. I went over it once, it's fine. Second time, I hit into the tree. The third time, I just want to smash my gear lever. So I've decided just to stop hitting into the tree uh, and leave it for today. I've done it once. I know I can do it now. I know why I need to hit into the tree. Basically, I was coming down the hill there and uh, I was thinking about getting into the right line for coming round. And as I was doing it, I looked at the tree and then that was it. I was honed in on the tree, so I just hit into it. And that's what they, they say countless times on these YouTube videos about mountain biking. If you look at an object, you'll head towards it. So basically you should be looking at the trail of where you want to go, not looking at the obstacles that you might hit into, because you, if you're looking at them, you will hit into them. And that's what happened there, definitely. So I'm just going to call it a day there. Uh, before damage is done. It's been a good day out. I hope you've liked this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. But I won't like you if you do that. And if you like the channel, why not subscribe to it? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Atati bye!